Have y'all ever been to the most northern part of Chicago? I have not. No. Until today. Until right now. Right now where we stand in is the most northern part of Chicago. We're going to talk about the street that is named after. At the street that's named after of. The street that we are on. <laughs> and what's around this area got yeah. some pretty cool stuff. Chicago, let's get it. Yeah, so we are walking from Everson, believe it or not. <laughs> we're walking from Everson. Uh, and we're walking towards um, deeper Chicago. I don't know, that's mm -hmm. weird. Uh, but let's give you some history, some context okay. as to what this is. Right now, we're on Juneway Terrace. Mm -hmm. And it's got a pretty interesting story. Um, it was uh, started and named after a guy named Sievert Tobias Gunderson and he was Norwegian. He came over to Chicago in 1848. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he was a trader and like he worked in lumber and he also uh, was like a subdivider. And if you all remember, this area of Rogers Park is all apartments. Young generation right. came up here, right. you know what I mean? Like it was nice. It, it overpopulated real quick. <laughs> and so yeah. he was kind of- There's blank. no parking. <laughs> There's no parking at all. Um, however, that's the story of how Junway Terrace got started. Yeah. It's actually when he, you know, Tobias Gunderson, um, I think we got a dog coming here. <laughs> hey, hey, do they know us? I don't know. So what happened was Sievert uh, Tobias uh, Gunderson, when he came, he was a subdivider, like mm -hmm. I said. And what that is, he subdivided the land that was in 1848, right around that time, into different parts, right? And keep in mind, this wasn't annexed to Chicago until 1915. So wow. real, yeah, right. So realistically, there I are, yeah, right. <laughs> there are no real records of this street. Um, um, cause, this, right, because it didn't. It, was, it didn't exist. existed before it was part of the city. Yeah, right before it was part of the city. I so if Evanston has records of it. So really, nobody does have okay. uh, uh, records of it. Here's the interesting part. So it's subdivided. Right now, we're in Chicago, or what would have been Chicago, but there's Calvary Cemetery, which is kind of like the in-between land of oh. of us and yeah. Evanston, which is right there. So it was subdivided into that kind of area. 1915 when Chicago annexed um, when this was annexed to Chicago yeah. became Rogers Park uh, this is when the record started to show of what this street was which is crazy wow. um, and the reason why he called it Juneway Terrace is mm. because when he started this uh, it was at the end of June oh wow <laughs> <laughs> it was it was in June so Super that's why he called it Juneway creative. Terrace but there's other cool things uh, to know is this the northern northernmost beach this <laughs> look at that's where we're going, y'all. Let's go to the most oh, okay, northernmost cool. beach. Let's get it. This breeze is fire. Yeah, and this beach is really, uh, so it's a smaller beach mm -hmm. and it's a rock beach. People often frequent like sand beaches, but I've never been here before. No, I've never been here. Didn't even know this existed. Never been so... here. Here's some cool facts about this beach right here. Okay. So this beach is uh, the Juneway uh, Terrace Park, mm -hmm. okay? Um, it's one of Chicago's beaches, many beaches that we have here. But this is one of the 18 street end beaches mm. that Chicago has. And if you wonder what a street end beach, uh, uh, beach is, it's a beach at the end of a street. Mm. Typically, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> typically they're called street end beaches because That's, that word's kicking, they're kicking my ass, boy. Let's talk about it. Like, <laughs> hey, why do I keep saying breach? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a street end beach. Yeah, and the street end beach happened mm -hmm. at the end of a street. Right. Oftentimes, 
this was a private beach for whoever owned oh, the land. But? But because, um, because we don't know, we can just only assume that this was a, um, a private beach, you know, that we can only assume that. Um, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> well, isn't it that, like, you can't own a private beach property? Like, you can't own a beach in Chicago. Like, right. You can't have construction. Yeah. Well, no, you can't put up anything. That's what uh, uh -oh. Daniel Burnham said. He wanted to keep the beaches, free. The, the lakefront, open and free, which yes. this is. Uh, and speaking of free, 1959, this was one of 18 street end beaches that were uh, purchased uh, by the Chicago Park District, taken from the city of Chicago which makes this really dope. Most northern That's beach awesome. and also one of 18 other beaches, I love street that. and beaches. It's literally taking everything in me to just not go in the water. I'm right saying now. this this is it this is, is good. It looks fresh as hell. It does. It feels Crispy. good. The, the, it, hey, it is better on the beach. I don't care what nobody it say. It, I mean, it's it's much better on the beach. Yeah. Um but yeah, that's pretty dope. Cooler um, by the lake. Yeah, cool yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> much be much better Body. by the beach. <laughs> I couldn't. Hey, boy, these words is yeah. just uppercutting your boy. It's all right. Yeah, it is. It it's, is what it is. It is what it is. Go ahead to be. <laughs> we can't edit those out. Mm -mm. Um, my arm giving out and shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, yeah. There's, I don't want to call, we don't like using Hidden Gym, but this is a cool place that is also up here. There's like four beaches right around here immediately that used to be private, we want to say. Used to be private beaches. We're going to go to one, like, garden that's mm -hmm. pretty dope. So come follow us. So we're right now at uh, Howard Beach Park, mm -hmm. and uh, just a couple blocks. Down. Just just a couple blocks. A nice yeah. little six minute walk. We took the scenic route. We mm -hmm. went the street over partly yeah, because Sheridan. I I didn't I didn't read the mm. I didn't the map was different. Apple Maps <laughs> is just different. Apple Maps map sucks. It, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, what I want to show you all is uh, this community is. Uh, Tighten it. I don't. I, I want to say. I would say. I feel like. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a pretty tight knit community. But the cool thing is, is they have this little garden here, which mm -hmm. is the Galaxy's Hedge action figure library and um, garden. That little piece of land. You kind of see it right behind us on the back there. Mm -hmm. But we got B roll. Yeah. We got B roll for you. Um, but the cool thing about it, it was started by Orion Cow um, Cowling um, Cooling Cowling. I don't know mm -hmm. how to pronounce his name, but apologize but uh he started it he had a um non-profit that uh closed down and last year 2022 he opened up this garden and the reason why he wanted to do it is because his non-profit was to teach people theater and gymnastics and when it got shut down um he still wanted to be charitable it was for dis uh disabled kids also he still wanted to be charitable and do something for kids so he started that little mm. garden with his love of star wars I love that. and it was his childhood toys also that he had right there wow. and he had it for the kids to take or play with and they come here wow just have some fun so I wanted to show you that. I love that. Yeah, wanted to show you that. That's it. That's that was, cute. That was, well, I'm hungry. I'm and hungry hot. too. Sarah's mama's leaving, so <laughs> we got it. We got it. She hungry. One. She walks she hungry. away. She hungry. Often. <laughs> She's like how you leash your children. Stop. <laughs> I need that for my mom because she will walk away. Will. Uh, but we're gonna go get some Belizean food. We've never Ooh. had food from Belize Ooh. before, so Ooh. I'm very excited. Let's get it. Rogers Park is yes. food, so let's get it. Quick little break out of the action. Uh, we will get back to the episode. But yes. right now, we are in the Taste of Chicago, the neighborhood edition. Marquette Park, baby. Marquette Park, baby. And if you remember last week's episode, we talked about Jane Burns. Okay, she started guys. the uh, Taste of Chicago. How do you think she feel yeah, about... Uh, <laughs> well, another mayor is here today. Another mayor is here right now. So uh, he's in the background. I sh I sh yeah, he's, he's right over there. Um, but uh, we're here at, uh, back in Marquette Park, Chicago Lawn. Remember, we talked to our boy Laro at uh, Mi Barrio Taqueria. Like what? two years ago. Two almost. years ago. And look, there he is. Come on, look. 
<laughs> Look, there he is. There's the man at the Taste of Chicago. How you doing? Yeah, I got to put on my, my uniform. No, nah, you ain't. He, 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 in, he in uniform. But uh, we have the neighborhood Taste of Chicago, which real Taste of Chicago is going to be September now because, right. you know, NASCAR. Mm. But let's get it. It's raining out here. Let's let's let's, let's go. Let's eat some food. Yeah. Time is about to be. Yeah. It's always yeah. this time for you. <laughs> Look at her talking. Mm. Mm hmm. What did you like the food? Mm hmm. <laughs> jerk alote, y'all. I know. We about to eat jerk alote. What is that gonna be like? I don't know, but he's making it yeah, right he, now. Yeah, he's making it. Let's, let's see what's going on. Y'all remember? My name is Chef Lorraine Devereaux, and we are the sole ingredient catering. The sole ingredient is you. Uh, what we got going over here today is we have our Cajun Authentic Shrimp po Boys mm, mm. with romalade sauce. Yes, Lord. Especially made by me. <laughs> uh, we also have our famous crab cakes, which is amazing. Okay. And then my Georgia peach pudding, which this gentleman refuses. Oh, today. wait a minute. But I'm wait a minute, y'all. That wasn't part of the script. That was <laughs> Now I want to try it. Give it to him. Oh, no, we got to pay for it. Because it's that good. Oh, she confident. That's right. Because okay. Then he's going to come back and pay for the next one. <laughs> no, we're going to pay for this one. We're we going to pay for this one, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, come on out, rain or shine. We are here till 8 p.m. Let's get it. <laughs> That's the taste of Chicago right here in uh, Marquette Park. Yeah, buddy. I can tell you one thing. One thing you're not gonna do is stop Chicago and from Chicago. You know? You're not gonna stop us. We're gonna party rain, sleet, snow, or hell. And also, it, it, it could be your, on one day. Your local neighborhoods have a taste of Chicago. So yeah. and maybe go to a new neighborhood that you've never been to yes. before. Check yes. out their taste. Get out here. But before uh the big day on September. You know? But uh we about to head to the car and uh make a trip to Neighborville. Ooh. Yeah. Lord. So I never uh, thought I'd say that. Never thought I'd say that again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh Get back to the episode and check out the food we about to eat. Let's go. So we are at Red's uh, Belizean mm -hmm. restaurant yeah. in Rogers Park. We just ate Smacked. a lot. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. So we got the chicken dinner, the beef dinner, the fish, the fried tilapia. Mm -hmm. and, that was a dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the chicken tamales. And Dario got two different sodas. That's, that's, that's I mean, we have never, we don't even call out food like that. <laughs> Critical. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but, and, and then it comes, everything comes with the sauce, which we'll talk about in a second. But the first thing we got was the chicken. It, it's basically like cubed, like Just, short ribby chicken. Right. Um, that has been stewed. So it is. Got the flavors in it. It's falling apart. Falling apart, y'all. You could tear it apart with your fingers. Yeah. Which you did. Wow. Mmm. Look at that. Pull it apart. Oops, shit. I'm still eating it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I tore it apart of my it mouth was, too, though. Wow. I was asking for people theirs. I was like, y'all, you gonna eat that? <laughs> it was good. It was, it was honestly really good. good. Um, yeah, and it, everything ooh. comes with a uh, rice, rice with and beans. beans. Yep. Y'all know how that the Belizean rice they, is. They go crazy. They go crazy. For like real. they don't miss. And then a side of like potato salad. Yeah, it was like Perhaps. mashed potato salad. Mashed potato salad. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Trying what... to look on the appetizer menu to see if it's oh, yeah. on there. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a. 
to side of potato salad. Yeah, it might it might have it was potato it definitely was like potato saladish, but had the consistency. Yeah, of there's a, a potato a salad potato. on the menu, so I think Man, it's potato. that. Yeah. And then it, it comes with a uh, fried plantain. And a plantain. And that's standard for all the dinner plates. So plate, dinner standard plates, rice and beans, uh, plantain, and that potato salad. All their dinner. What? No, I thought you. I thought you was peeling. <laughs> oh wow. I saw it. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Like, anyway, that's, that's not even. That's so disrespectful. Anyway, anyway. Your mama, go ahead. Slow motion with it. That's gonna get a boyfriend. Um, but yeah, so the beef was really great. My personal favorite was the chicken. The chicken has been stewing for 10 days. And you can taste it. Is it is like, truly falls off the bone also. Very similar flavor to the beef. Yeah, I think, I think both of those are like, they were, they were stewed and yeah. cooked the same way. Yeah. Both of them, it was like 1A, 1B, but I would probably say. My mom is pointing at the sauce off camera yes. to remind us to talk about the sauce. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about that <laughs> sauce because. I want y'all to understand, this sauce is so good. I had to, I, I've been pouring it over everything. Mm. Like, honestly, they not eating like I am. <laughs> but I've been pouring it over everything. Look at it. And I don't even know what this is. This tastes like vinegar. It's like a vinegar habanero. V vinegar and ginger? It's Michael and Scotty is what I heard, so that's good. That's good. Uh, the, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. That sauce set it, it, it off. Honestly, it changed every dish. So the sauce so seems like, if I were to deduce, garlic, vinegar, ha habanero, ginger, mm -hmm. vinegar, yeah. is what I'm tasting. Yeah. So, and I feel like, I feel like if you are from Belize, you probably know what the sauce is. Right. I just don't. Right. Um, and so... It's uh, and I heard her say someone asked for hot sauce. She was like, "This is the only hot sauce we have." Yeah, and, it's, and that's the only hot sauce you need. Hot sauce. Mm. The way you would think it's like it's right, right, right. It's like a, there we go. It's really good. It's, it's, it seems like a homemade. Did you say it was garlic? It was garlic, garlic ginger, garlic habanero, ginger, vinegar. That mixture right yeah. there. That's the ninety six bulls. That's the ninety six <laughs> bulls. If you ask me, they 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 are going seventy two yeah. or ten. That was so good, y'all. Really good. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. Yeah. The tilapia, though, I will say, I like the tilapia. It was fried almost to perfection. Kept yeah, the. It, it was. was. It was still like. It wasn't white, falling apart. Right, but it was still enough. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it was just. It was perfect. It was some of the best tilapia. Some people be hating on tilapia. I, I don't hate on tilapia. I just think it's like bottom of the barrel fish. So it's so it's shrimp, but I, I mess with shrimp though, heavy. Yeah. Uh, me too. So it's catfish, and I love catfish. Yeah. That doesn't true. mean it doesn't taste bad. It's just like, if we're talking about like That's quality true. fish, it's right. probably like, you know, cheaper. Yeah. And, but yeah. it's still amazing. They also have a red snapper on the menu, a yeah. whole fried red snapper, Bone which, which we did not get. Bone in. We didn't it get looks, that. I saw the picture of it, and it looks amazing. Looks we just good. did not have time to debone a fish. Right, right. Didn't got time for that. It's hot. Um, but it looks. You got really the tamales. Good. We did get the tamales, the chicken tamales. I would say that was probably my least favorite item, only yeah. because of texture, not because of flavor. The flavor yes. was on point. Right. Honestly, if you enjoy uh, Belizean tamales, it is really good. I feel like it's unnecessary. That was the word I used. It was unnecessary, not in a bad way. I meant unnecessary. Like when you get the other foods, you oh. you don't need that. Like right. it's it's. I would, I would say so. Yeah, I mean because like if you get one of the dinners, you're gonna get enough rice, and yeah. if you. Even if you get a large or small, would, you you gonna be all right. I would say like the rice is shareable between two people. Right, because it's a, it's a lot of rice. If you get, I mean, you who's gonna get three dinners like we just did? But if you get two dinners, three I would say. Yeah, two dinners, one. Say you, one rice, it's a, one dinner, and one actual plate. Because you can um, get the rice on the side though too. Right. So you can get the rice on the side, which is which is yeah. probably the route to go if you just get the chicken, because you get a small chicken and you can do everything on sides and that probably will be better. Right. All in all. Awesome amazing all in all for real i mean the people were in here waiting for like 40 minutes for yeah. their food mm -hmm. and for that many people to be sitting here and waiting you gotta know be good gotta, gotta be good, good. here's if it's, but you think about rogers park this is yeah. one of those low-key places you can eat around the world too yeah. we didn't have per, uh, peruvian food here right. now we have belizean food here i mean of course you didn't have a bunch of american american there's, there's a lot of international foods in, yeah. in rogers park yeah um, and a lot of like small locally owned businesses, which I absolutely love. There's mm -hmm. not as many like 
uh, restaurant group owned restaurants. It's a lot of like individual, local, like mom and pop yeah. ish type of mm -hmm. things. Yeah. So, so come on yeah. out. Rogers Park is lit and yes. it's on the edge of Chicago. <laughs> so <laughs> you can actually, I would say there's only three tables to sit down. So it would be really cool to take Go the to food the and walk to the beach and just eat out there. I don't know about a walk. It was a four minute drive. It's like a 10 minute walk. No, four minute drive. It literally is. I looked on my Google Maps. It's a 10 minute walk. Do it. We're going to do it live. Do We're going to do it live. Let's see. Juneway Beach. Let's see if we want to go there. That's where we were. Uh, let's do walk. 13. Okay. <laughs> it, 13 is not 10. That's all I got to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm done talking. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but yeah, check them out. Really good.